essential workers. able to um, love each other whether you're all together or whether you're not okay we wanted to share some of our things we've been working on while we were at home all right which what do you want to show first we have having new butterflies that are coming next yeah, we got these caterpillars about a week ago. And look at this one. We did want we wanted to show you it, but then it, it just started when I was like sleeping. We had a caterpillar, so I remember when it was hanging. It was hanging, it looked like a letter J. And then it, it looked like it was starting to getting ready to turn into like this. Now it's a and, chrysalis. And then I was right. Mommy was right, so she said it. So then it was ready to, to come, to come to a butterfly. It just came. So then I was thinking that we should make a video right now. And you know, it's so weird. So between yesterday and today, he became a chrysalis or she or whatever, um, whatever it identifies as. Mm -hmm. uh, but. It, the weirdest thing from even the last time we had these butterflies, which we bought them from Insect Lore, um, that when they're in the chrysalis, they shake so much. So I think also that's Also, we have all day, sometimes when you shake it, it shakes. And now it's shaking right even right now. Like you put it down and it's shaking. Oh. You say look up here for our last little five series. That's right. We've done, we've done a three. series. Like we did like three maybe? Three videos. Oh, we've been working on like stuff for our windows if you tried it. So I have one over there. One in uh, that room. There are two of them. There are a poster and a rainbow one again. It just looks different. Yeah, because uh, I don't know in your neighborhood, but in You're our neighborhood. You're seeing this too. I just did a project. Yeah, let's talk about that. In our neighborhood, they folks are putting rainbows in their window so that when kids are outside, they could see rainbows uh, and sort of a scavenger hunt. And I know we're not supposed to go outside. It started before it was like that much that we couldn't go outside, but uh, it could stay forever, right? Like even after all this is over, which is hopefully soon, then kids can still see rainbows in the windows. And I think that's really special. Because, you know, after a rainstorm, you, you can see a rainbow. It's got a lot of messages to it. So we have some rainbows in our window. And yesterday, Emily's brother, Logan, he saw that somebody put a little sign that said hello in their window. So yesterday, Emily put a sign that said hello in our window. I think that's a really funny way to communicate. And then, so, if, like, um, I put my calm there. I has like out it said hello from Emily and Logan and then we colored it and we like put like a lot of decorations there. So then when I went outside and then I looked and I went to the other side of our like apartment, what happened? I saw our poster. You pointed at it. Yeah, because we had to go. They had uh, Daddy and Emily went outside to to run some errands, so they and could then see our window. He points. I was looking at something else. Don't like post it to something. And then I was looking at that. I was like, wait, what? And then he pointed at it. I was like, oh, there's a poster. And just like that, other kids can see it too, right? When they're running their errands 
Um, so that's something that you're saying. I'm holding out for my dream. If you look close to me, and not going to get my dress, but you know who you are. Love it if we all sing out the window together. That would be so cool. I saw that people were doing that. Where, you know, in Upper West Side in Manhattan and different places singing a song. We don't know what the song will be, but we are happy to join any song. Do it. Wait. Do it. Um, we're going to make another video of only two about my thing that Ooh, I got. Tell them, but also tell them what happened to your two. And how it came out. Oh. <laughs> I already told them. Oh, maybe, but if you didn't see, Emily had this silly tooth in the middle of her mouth. Just hanging out that, there. Just hanging out there. It would never come out. It was one of the two front teeth, but it would never fall. The other one fell out months ago. This one would never fall. It was just sitting like in the middle. It just had shifted. It looked really funny. And finally, like a week ago or a week and a half ago, while she was wrestling with dad, rough housing, rough housing, uh, if I, she fell and hurt herself, it started no, bleeding. It was very dramatic. She showed up next to me, spitting blood on the floor. It was really dramatic, like a horror story. And then um, finally, she was able to pull it out in that moment. Yeah, because it, like came in for a little bit, like a little tiny bit, and I just pulled it out, and it was mm. up. It was disgusting. Um, anyway, that, and then you were trying to say about, this kind of looks like a tooth, this in your hand. That he'll show us a close-up later, but. So, it looks like, you got like, right here, like, it's a little crack right here, like, a little line. But you can't see as well, but, um, Morgan, um, he, like, did something, and he gave something to me from, and then I had, like, to do a lot of work, you know, like a, a stamp thing, and I saw brown, I was like, wait, what is that the thing that really had me all over? Right, and it's just like, it's just like a diamond. It's like a little treasure thing from uh, Dollar Tree that we're pulling out all the projects right now. The old one, that where you had to dig out the gem, and that was it, and she finally did it. And I got it. But speaking of rocks, let's show them these. So Emily's been drawing on rocks hoping to put them outside for people to find but then we realize that nobody's going to want to touch anything with germs on it so maybe after people are out of quarantine we can put them outside so you can see that we were thinking of you and if you find one of these rocks in our neighborhood you will see that emily uh was thinking of you during coronavirus so we've got this rainbow one and like all these like I abstract these arts ones like this, one. this one says a message it says i love the earth um and that one too like an abstract art on it so yeah. if you find one of those later later uh yeah, when we're not it. freaking out um, then you can grab it up and know that Emily was thinking about you if during you find, like, this. So like an EB, if you see EB, if you find it, then maybe you would think it's me. If you think it's one of, if you find these. So I have more rocks, but we're going to finish it. We will show you more next time we do this video, right? It's 7 o'clock. People are clapping out the window. You want to clap? Wow! Woo! So much Thank you for your service to all the essential workers. Woo! 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 I hope this stays safe. I do okay, hope they're safe. So wonderful. Okay, other stuff we've been doing. Emily's been collecting some of her drawings that she's done now and in the past. So I have only one right here. And it's not like only one, but I have one right here. So it's like one that I really love. So it's like they're like two sisters. This one is not like a real creature. It's just like a person, how she looks. So this is like a mermaid one. She lives in and they're just she's gonna read a book and this is their pet so then what happened it, um the sun was making it hot 
looks like sweating and it's like a half girl and a half a boy. So they look like that. So I'm just drawing one or two. So like I don't have no idea what's that, but Maybe it's so I guess so. And this is like a butterfly that you maybe made in it. And I just made a like a heart sign. And like it's like something like if you know like some statue things and it have like some stuff on their neck or wigs. Um it's like one moving and they don't know. And two girls are the beautiful flower. I love to make one like beautiful flowers and this thing I made it with like a stamp thing. I got it on my arm and then I kept the thing. The stencil? Yeah and what happened I did that and so then I kept it to make this. So this thing is from the back. So that's what it's showing. You want to show the next drawing? Wait, I have like a lot more things. Oh my. I have one more butterfly and like yellow stuff here out. And I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what this thing is. That's the sun, that's the moon. The moon is snowing. And I don't know what that is. And there are like shiny things everywhere. I like this so much. And this is the arms. And she's like holding something, I think, I don't know what it is. I forgot, and just like a feather, and then a wing, and then I crossed this out to make, I wanted to make a bug, but then now it looks like an actual bug, like mm -hmm. you said. Okay, man, this is like a t-shirt. Okay, and then another one. So, this is like a hero one. It's showing like you did this one. But I, Mom did, Mom did this one, and I'm like, this girl like vomiting, and she's like, oh, that was too strong. And this girl's gonna do it. And this is a girl, and she has like something on her head, and she has like curly hair, and they're like a beautiful flower again, heart hearts, and like some of these stuff. And a girl is flying, another girl flying, a girl like running, and this guy is like coming to her. And on the back, um, this girl got hurt. She has money, and then the boy is coming in. Okay, that one is done. Okay, this one is like. It's like a sea and then she's like a mermaid and this girl was in there she got some a fish and this guy's gonna dive in and there's some like a shark big fish two fishes right here a jellyfish and a you know, jellyfish and a little octopus in the sun Oh, we showed this on my brother when I was seven. We showed this. Okay. We like showed this and it's showing like this on the back. We didn't show you that. So, I got this. It was like showing that we could do something to make like this thing right here. This bowl of like ice cream and like, and a girl looking at it and a little baby brother or something and it's saying like something there. So right here a girl took out Pikachu of this and then what happened this is picking up. some stuff that we wanted to put out the window. So this one right here, right there, is like an astronaut and like the earth. 
so that's like the earth right there. And this is like a star right there. And that girl saying, you know she's crying. <laughs> cool. Let's put it back here so we put it in. Great collection um, of pictures. Huh? Great collection of drawings. Yeah, Emily's always got a story behind her drawings. How about, okay, so now I want to talk about, because um, we've been doing remote learning, right? And one of our favorite things during remote learning is watching Bo Willems doodle. And we ha actually, we haven't caught up, but I saw, I think there's the last one was today. I think, don't get alarmed. I'm not 100% sure. But because we're a little bit behind, uh, but OMG, I think is the last one, and I don't know what we shall we shall do from my now. My kids is um, gonna be all the videos are gone. No, they'll stay, so you can always watch them. I might dig up because Emily did find some old videos. Okay, remember you found some old videos of another thing he did, so we probably watched yeah. those. But anyway, he has done some really good. Actually, I have Emily's notebook here. I'll show you some of the doodles. But he, they made this crown this um, maybe last week or this week, and I thought it's super cute. I love that. But my favorite to stay, we're gonna have to cut to it later. I think is an animation, and we're gonna have to do it later. Actually, when Daddy comes closer, he taught kids how to be animators, and we're gonna show you some of the. <laughs> we're gonna show you some of the ones that Emily made. Um, from this special animation technique that he showed, so we'll do that in a second when you come we closer. We will do that when okay. get a different form. Yeah, when Daddy comes closer. Next but also, um, I'll show you some drawings that she did of, of like the characters he does. So this one, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a monster. Yeah, I see? have uh, like another notebook over there just... With other drawings, right? Uh, no, like for... My to do is with more Willems and I just put some of them in here. Yeah, but it's so funny. Um, it's, it's been so fun. Like, oh no, this is like her own drawing. But like, this one too is another one. Yeah, like right there. And then she was inspired to do a drawing of her teddy bear, which is right here. Oh, oh shoot, I just, where? I just saw it. Wait, where? Over here. Um, call it socks. Sock, sock the sock. sock. Um, he wears socks on his feet and hands. Show her the uh, So, oh so, like, right here, it's just like, she has socks right there of uh, Hello Kitty and uh, no, her socks on her arm. The the other ones on the arm. Anyway, she's really <laughs> been inspired by those drawing opportunities. Uh, and there's been other ones like we really liked hearing uh, the writer from Pete the Cat too, which is another series of ours. Um, and there's a new one starting this week of Dave Pilkey, who does Captain Underpants. So hopefully we'll like that one. And, and there's so much like that's the thing like it's driving me a little crazy. Like we love Drag Queen Story Hour, and they're coming out with every day with some. Like we're just trying to watch as many things as possible. Lincoln Center at home has some really good lessons. Remember the rhyming one you were listening to? Yeah, yeah but that so, I didn't finish. It. Yeah, but we're gonna finish it because they teach like they songwriting. Um, I have like ballet and that well, online, right? Yeah, because I had ballet and then come on, I was doing my life was like ballet, so I loved it. So then I just didn't do that as much. Yeah, it's been really hard. This I really wanted to. I'm sorry, I'm having really bad. That's happening in my brain. And Emily really misses school. Love Most kids are happy to be out of school, but Emily really no, misses she's it. She's very social, that's what it is, and very active, so it's been really hard. We've been trying to find as many like things to like keep her active, like so, gym videos. What's that? Count to 100 by one by Jack Hartman, I think. If it's not correct, we'll put the correct name. She loves Jack those. Hartman. Yeah, Jack Hartman. She loves those like videos like that. Her teacher, Mr. Strum, he puts a lot of videos. The other thing that's been keeping her Sane really is uh, video calls with her friends and then with her classmates to her teacher Miss McKnight has been doing some really cool uh, uh, le like short little lessons about reading and math 
where a, a few kids participate that's been amazing uh, for her so that's been really cool because it's nice to be yeah. together but to not be able to go outside as much you saw that you know we made one video the we last to, video to the park the last video you look up here yeah okay. but, but this park was totally empty so I took her there but you know people don't it's respect risky. social di distancing um, and um, so it's not possible to keep going to those opportunities so anyway that's that um, so other thing, oh and Emily, let's read. So Emily wrote a poem about remote learning. It's actually an acrostic. If you, that's like the easiest kind of poem to get started on. Um, an acrostic is when you write the word down the side. You know, so like we're writing about remote learning. We wrote the letters of remote learning down the side, and then each uh, line starts with the letter, the first letter. So like the first line starts with R for whatever remote learning the R and then E M O T E like that. So that was an assignment and it's called My First Week of Remote Learning. Do you wanna read it? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> read it. No, I'm gonna read it because I think it's really good. Okay. I wanted to read it because I cannot know. I can help you. Okay. So I'm gonna read it. Uh, so running in my living room, elephant and piggy books Mo Willems lunch doodles. Oh, 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 I miss my <laughs> friends. The coronavirus is making the world sad and me too. Don't get shy. Oh, yeah. Earth is getting sick. And that's the first answer. And then the second one. Logan is my best brother. Everyone is scared around my family all day. Robots are cool. Remember, I need glasses. Oh my god, I, I'm like, don't wear them. Nurses and doctors, too. So, robots are cool. Nurses and doctors, too. I want to go to school. Now, my mom and dad are my teachers going to the park for fresh air. I don't know, that's so sweet, mommy. That's so sweet. Okay, now I have to. No, no. Sing along. It's sing a long time, it's sing a long time, it's sing a long time. We're going to share three of our favorite songs. And the first song is Down by Bye. the Bay. But listen to this. We had to write the rhymes because we always get stuck and just stare at each other for a while before we can come up with them. But here they are. So we're like putting like some of them that we want to make. Yeah, we're going to so, sing them. But if like you come like different writings. Okay? Yeah, and if you come up with new ones, you can put them in the comments. I think we have comments. I don't know if we have comments. Sure. But you could put them in our comments and tell us like another rhyme you would do. Because we like to rhyme forever. Like sometimes we go like 20, 30 rhymes. But this is like 10 that we came up with for today. Okay, you ready? Okay. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, have you ever seen a cat? Wearing a hat down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say.
My mother will say, Have you ever seen a heart riding a cart down by the big slope? By the
Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. In my little home. In my little home. I'm gonna let it shine. In my little home. I'm gonna let it shine. In my little home. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I love my family. I love my family. I'm gonna let them shine. I love my family. I'm gonna let them shine. I love my family. I'm gonna let them shine. Let them shine. Let them shine. Let them shine. Video calling my friends. Video calling my friends. I'm gonna see them shine. Video calling my friends. I'm gonna see them shine. Video calling my friends. I'm gonna let them shine. Let them shine. Let them shine. Let them shine. All around the world. All around the world. We're all gonna shine. All around the world. We're all gonna shine. All around the world. We're all gonna shine. Gonna shine. Gonna shine. Gonna shine. We love to sing together. And we hope that you like to listen to us sing. I don't know about that. That's pretty hard. But like to sing along and like to write your own songs. And we hope to see you shine soon because this will be over. <laughs> and we're going to get to see each other. Right, Mama? You're going to get to see your friends and shine with them. I know you will. Oh, we got emotional. Me too. But we're going to see you all soon. And we hope you like seeing our videos. And we hope you make your own videos and put them up so and we like can see them. Please like our videos. And share. And subscribe them and share them. We hope that we can make somebody feel good or emotional. What do you think? Yeah. What do you want to say? <laughs> Something. We're going to do another part, but we have to skip We have more videos coming up. More videos coming because we're going to keep having fun and keep being creative and keep shining. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Go ahead. Okay, guys. This is the other part of the video. So we're having like one of my little budget doodles. This is my... First one I did, and then I did like a bunch of more and then the next day, and this is the first one I made with more with them, so I would do this. So. It's a way to show animation. It's like a mini flip book, but just so like you just days. like, um, we will show you it. See, so it shows It's the, like showing like he's opening his mouth, the pigeon. Do you see this? I see it. That's awesome. Okay, so that's the one Mo Willem did, but then Emily made some of her own. That I want to make. So this is the ice cream cone one? So, and you see, you could almost learn how to do it, right, just by watching this. Because it's like so, a strip of paper, right? Like an yeah, inch wide. Yeah, so just like take a paper, take like a ruler, and then like cut it out. Like, just do something... And what happens, you cut it and then pick another piece, no, just fold it in half and then what happens, you draw something right there and then here, here and then roll it and like then the it's like showing like that and then you take it out and then it's like curly and then so it's curly and then you just do that like kind of quickly or slowly. And then it shows something. You just go practice first. 
and then you will do it. It's kind of cool, yeah, right? Yeah, it shows an animation, and you're gonna do your best to draw it this, as similar as possible, and to draw it um, in the similar place, so it shows the best. So okay. that's another one. So we'll put this one. This one is the is like an egg or something. Right? No, it's like a snow globe. Like a oh, place. snow globe breaking. Oh, this is no. That's the other one. That's not an egg. I think. So it's not. It's like a snow globe over there, but this is a cup. A cup breaking. Like breaking. Very cool. That's all Emily's invention. This is the heartbreak. So dramatic. Whoa. That's the heartbreak. This is. The snow globe. The snow globe break. I cannot work right now. Can you see? I see it. Okay. This, this is one of my favorites. It's the girl sticking out her tongue. <laughs> yeah, I was sticking out her tongue, but like getting different. You just like squeezing your back down to turn like, like that. I think like, that's so funny. And this is the one of the girl <laughs> laughing. She's like, like her smiling. head, and then goes up and down and smiling and blinking and smiling. And then her head is going up and down, and her eye, it's like winking. It's like cool. up and like, like. Oh, yeah, she's winking. I love that part. I forgot. This is the. On um, the lollipop. The lollipop breaking. It just turns tiny. And this one is, we can't quite remember what this one Oh yeah, this is the bow. That's the bow A one. bow. Like a ribbon. Yeah, it's like a ribbon. Turning to a bow. Oh, it cannot work. It's yeah, working right there. It's showing up hard on it. A little bit. It's not showing. Okay. And it's lastly, like this is a, uh, this one is a, a mouth. mouth opening. Opening. Last but not least. I love you too much. I'm gonna make more. We are gonna make part two of this video. So we're gonna make part two and make more of these. Okay, guys? So it's our calendar. And you see one's in a chrysalis already. And it's not because I'm shaking. He is sh He is shaking. He's actually moving by himself. Yeah, the chrysalis is moving. And then you see if you wanted to get like under it a little bit. You could see that the other ones are about to go because, like, they're hanging out at the top, and what's gonna happen next is they're gonna hang down and they're gonna look like a J, and then uh, they're gonna turn to a chrysalis. And once they do, then we're gonna move it over to like a little tent that we have for the butterflies. This is a fun project, and by the way, I didn't know this when I got this, but Insect Lore on their website they have a cool workbook that goes along with this. We didn't know and now it's a little late, but you can do like observations every day uh, and of how they look and everything like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for watching this little supplemental video. Awesome.